Salutations to the elders and apostles of Grimstone Wealth, from Nasher DC Camp, with a short lesson. Not if I to hopefully like to, this is just a little uh, impromptu because of uh, <laughs> this coronavirus stuff is hilarious, man. <laughs> you know, so I'm going to play this uh, video. I'm going to show you how, uh, <laughs> you know. How Satan always walk around with these hidden man, these heathens, man. It's gonna you know, see them all at <laughs> spitting on the elevator button. So uh, let me just hurry up and uh, <laughs> play it real quick. Yeah, it's uh, it's sick. Hello, good evening or good morning. Uh, I want you to share this video to anybody you know. This happened in China. This is a lady who went to the hospital and. Uh, they diagnosed her of the coronavirus. Now she is going back home. She got into a lifter, a public lifter. She started spitting the virus on the lifter button. So please watch it carefully. You have to be careful the way you use public things. Nowadays, because the world is wicked. People are so wicked. Just watch what the lady is doing. Watch the video carefully. Now people coming into the lifter. And once they come into the lift, automatically you must you must touch the button to the floor you're going to. So you see how they distribute the virus. That is why the virus is 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 is, is spreading so fast because demonic agents are at work. <laughs> yes, that's uh, that's how messed up this one has become, man. You know, these small lights, you know, they're not that. Uh, you know, they're just <laughs> a few steps behind Esau, man, you know. That's one thing about the other Shema Shea always told our people, you got to be circumspect. Especially when you're around uh, the people of this world, okay. So, um, hey, just pray Lord that about Shema Shea, you know, get you on the right path, man. All right, so I'm going to play this video real quick. It's like a well precept, <laughs> yeah, because uh, it's so annoying, man. You know, sometimes you, you know, you don't want to be around this uh, f so called uh, heathens, but what can you do? You're in captivity, you know, you're still under the curses, you know, you still have to deal with them, but you just gotta be extra cautious, all right. So, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 27. Verse 12, it says, The prudent man foresee the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Okay, so you just got to be extra, you know, cautious, man. You got to be aware of the environment, you know. Just, uh, you know, if you can, just uh, <laughs> stay away from this more, might, more bad restaurants, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's hilarious, man. See how uh, wicked they can be, you know. So this is just icing on the cake, man. All right. So just pray, Lord Yahweh Shai guides you, you know. And uh, it's only the Lord Yahweh Shai that can protect you in these last days, man. When all these pestilences, you know, it's uh, you know, spreading rampantly, all right. So these diseases they have no remorse, man. <laughs> All right. So this is Psalms one nineteen. I'm gonna get to verse nineteen. It says, uh, one second. Psalms one nineteen. Okay. Psalms one nineteen verse uh, nine. It says, Well, we tell shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed to according to that word. All right, so that's exactly how the man of the Lord get protected. You know, that's how we get cleansed from our faults. All right, so it's by taking heed to the words of prophecy. All right, you don't have time to be uh, complaining, you know, without. Uh, Doing the work spiritually, okay. So I pray, Lord, that about Shima Shai get your mind on the right track because you know you don't have time to be looking back, 
all right and be uh having second thoughts okay because once you put your hand on this plow you know you can't be going back okay because this world is deceitful it's treacherous and this is just part of the treachery you have to deal with man you know people that are already at the bottom you want to put others down all right yeah so uh another precepts will be from the book of proverbs chapter 20 verse 30 it says the blueness of a wound cleanseth away evil so do stripes the inward parts of the belly so the most guys are going to jack out these more lights man you know they never learn you know they never like to uh do the right thing according to the will of the lord they are about shima and shai so the most is going to jack them up some more man because they're just pure evil you know, you hear about all the, you know, uh, acts of, uh, you know, of uh, of treachery they commit towards Jake. You know, whether it's here in the Americas, whether it's here in the, or there in the Caribbean, in their own country, even in Africa, and uh, in Europe. So, just expect most of to, you know, to, uh, to jack them up some more, man. It's going to be beautiful. You know, they're going to become a laughing stock. In fact, they're already becoming a laughing stock. <laughs> you know, that's like you see the two Jakes, you know, playing, joking around on the train in New York, you know, wearing that, uh, <laughs> the so called masks. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, uh, you know, it's just, uh, it's just what it is, man. You know, the Moshe has a sense of humor. So he's going to make this more by his pay, man. All right. So another precept is going to be from the book of uh, from the book of Sirach. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Book of Sirach, chapter thirty-eight. I'm going to read verse one. It says, "Honor a physician with the honor due to him, for the uses which." ye may have of him for the Lord had created him so who are your so called modern day physicians you know they're herbalists but in a spiritual sense it would be the men of the Lord All right, the ones that are out there that give the proper doctrine of how to get yourself in order how to organize your life to move forward without hesitation without grumbling okay that let you know exactly what's going on in the world that put things in the proper perspective. Yep. So just pray Lord that by Shima Sha prepares your mind to accept whatever the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone has uh, put out there for brothers to uh use for the edification of the body. Because that's that's what the word is always about, you know, for the healing of the body. All right, so that's that's very important. All right, because you can eat herbs all day, but it's up to the Lord Yahweh by Shima Shai to provide healing. Okay, so just pray the Lord Yahweh by Shima Shai guides you. You know, you just gotta struggle, man. You know, to stay on that uh, path of righteousness because it's not uh, gonna be easy. All right, it's gonna be hard, and uh, you just have to persevere. You know, just like Yahweh Shai said. He that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved, okay? So that's exactly what you got to uh, press towards, you know, perfection. So that was the point of the Akim, you know, just had to uh, bring it out real quick. All right, shalom.